YouTube really are far worse than most people think of them to be. And that's not just because they banned me. Okay, you banned me, whatever. But it was them banning me that woke me up to the hypocrisy and the audacity of the slave trade they've been running for an extremely long time. Think about it. They're basically at this point plantation owners, right? And they're plantation owners without honor, without a swath of it. Because what they do is as follows. They built some software, they built a website, some dorks. Cool. Then they get all this content produced for free. Think about like Netflix, and these other streaming services. They have to invest hundreds of millions of dollars in production. When I watch Netflix, which is very rare, it's trash. There's nothing good on it. But when I try and watch it for, let's say, an afternoon, I'll tear through, what, $85 million worth of content in an afternoon? And by the end of it, go, shit, give me more. They can't give more. They have to produce it. It takes time. It takes a whole bunch of money. YouTube don't have to do that, right? You're the product for YouTube. You go and do all of the work. You're YouTube's production company. You get up. You take your time, your ideas, your money, your effort. You do it all for them. Then you put it on YouTube. Now, if it's ultra successful and starts to make some money, then yeah, you can make a little bit of money. But if it doesn't make shit, then YouTube doesn't lose anything. So the risk reward for YouTube is perfect, right? Because if it's fantastic, they win. And if it's shit, they don't lose. Only you lose. So they can't lose either way. They don't give a fuck. It's not like Netflix producing a show that was a bomb and they lose money. Not at all. All the responsibility, all the liability, all the risk is on you. And then they don't even have the common decency to guarantee you that your works are going to exist on the internet. So you can spend years producing content, thinking of ideas, spending money, spending time. And because you don't want to say that men can get pregnant in the ever shifting narratives, which YouTube decide they need to enforce. Now they're going to delete all of it. And because you don't want to say that men can get pregnant in the ever shifting narratives, which YouTube decide they need to enforce. Now they're going to delete all of it. It's like, oh no, he didn't buy into the new propaganda. He didn't drink the new Kool-Aid. So let's take his last five years of energy, time, work, money, ideas. Fuck him. Turn it off. It's clown world. They're like slave owners. They're like plantation owners. And they got all the slaves at the bottom working for effectively free. One slave turns out to be extra good. He gets a little bit of food. Now, here you go. The rest of the slaves are fucking digging in the dirt. Maybe I'll get food one day. Most of you don't get shit. And they won't even guarantee you that your ideas are going to exist. That is crazy.